President Obama got 53% of the vote last November, and his party controls both chambers of Congress. But when it comes to getting stuff done, it feels like he's getting bullied on the playground. He's got the Glenn Becks of the world to his right and impatient liberals to his left. So is he paralyzed in the middle? Helping me solve this mystery is Leslie Sanchez, Republican strategist and author of You've Come a Long Way, Maybe, <laughs> and Linda Carter, Democrat, actress and singer and all around beautiful girl whose new album is at last. Well, before we get to Obama, welcome, first of all, ladies. Thank you. Before we get there, what did you think of Orly, the woman who, the birther a lady? Linda? Just like Do kind of stunned that she's, that she's still doing it. She's still doing it. She's That's a dog ridiculous. with a bus. Leslie? Uh, I, I agree with you. I mean, I, I think it's an important issue just to a small constituency, but I think a lot of people have resolved that's just not going to go anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. No. She kept insisting uh, that I find uh, the date and the proof of the, of the Hawaiian government who said he was born there. So I just want to read this for people watching. On, uh, on September 30th, 08, the Hawaiian government said, Barack Obama was born in my state and went to school there, yet as a United States senator, I've never met him. But he was, she said he was born there and he went to school there. Is that enough? It's not enough for this woman. She, I, think she keeps going. Minutes, I think it's her 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. Well, but I mean, this woman, is, is this with the direction is that born, the... Is she in America? Is she, she born here? She's not born here, no. She was born in, Soviet, in Russia. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But she's, well, I assume I she's I don't think American. that's so much the issue. I, th I think, Joe, I don't, I don't know where you're going, but I think there are, there are a lot of people who did have questions about that, that looked at the validity, validity of it. But I think there are enough solid sources that have proven that's really not an issue right. and more so it's not a politically winning issue no uh, and it's going nowhere i mean it's really going it's going nowhere a, and it, it's a waste it feeds, of our time it feeds into kind of a larger picture of the obamas and, and you know who's pulling the strings what's the truth don't you, you know? think it makes a lot of the right wing look paranoid though yes well, <laughs> a lot of people in the right wing are paranoid. Uh, there's, you know, because of a lot of things that are happening. I yeah. think those two kind of go together. In some cases, it's not a, it's not a bad thing. People are very concerned about this country. They yeah. want to make sure there's good leadership, and they're they're not happy about the direction of the country. That's the bigger issue. Were they happier under Bush? No, uh, <laughs> they're just not no. happy. Yeah, well, they, uh, uh, Ronald yeah. Reagan, St. Ronald Reagan, they were happy then. Everybody's always happy, the Republicans under Ronald we Reagan. We do, we love Ronald they Reagan. They love Donald. You know, I see Ronald Reagan. I guess I will jump on Donald that. Reagan, I called him. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of economics, yeah. No, really. Now, well, just quickly, I want to just touch on the health care bill a little bit because today it passed the Senate Finance Committee, that Baucus bill, and one Republican voted for it. Guess who? Olympia Snow. She's the only one who's rational over there. So, should that be Obama's fight now to get that uh, passed? I don't particularly like the Baucus bill because it doesn't have the public option. Uh, I mean, it, don't we need that? Uh, in my my opinion, yeah. the only way, uh, I mean, I don't really know anything about it any more than anyone else does that's been following it, because until you've uh, really studied it, it's a huge problem. As you said, it's overwhelming. What, what do but they I, have against it is what I want to know. What do they have against the public option? Uh, well, the bigger issue is cost. I think it comes down to that. There's a, there's a strong sentiment in the country that people, the neediest people, need to be protected and have access to care. Small businesses, low-income people that are disadvantaged, maybe even for a short period of time. We have to ensure that these families don't go into bankruptcy right. because of one health care disaster. We're all one step away from that, and many of us feel that way. The reality is the cost it ensued. If you look, there's a, there's a new survey that came out today that talked about it could be four thousand more per family without the public without, without, the, without public the public, the public option. option. Just looking at what's happening in the Senate right now. So until you pull that away, a lot of people know politics. It's the devil in the details, and we don't want to be snookered into some sort of effort that really costs families. But a I mean, lot you know, more. just a general note about health care. Why do they have to make pro a profit on health care? I don't understand that. A lot of countries don't make money on health care. I mean, it's really kind of immoral, isn't it? Well, I think in a capitalist society, it's, it's incentivizing people to do the research and development to find those new drugs. If they're not going to be paid, at some point, they're not going to do it for altruistic reasons. I don't know if that's yeah. true. Other countries have come up with plenty of new ideas and a lot of them. Well, a lot of our pharmaceuticals go overseas and around the world at, you know, pennies on the dollar. Uh, to, it, it, there, there are benefits to that, but they don't pay the research. The, the, the Americas basically pay how a lot of that time, research. I, you, how many times have we uh, tried to put forward a health care plan, and Many the Republican Party has been the one to defeat well, it. It was the, it was the same oh, thing. No, it was. No, no, no. Yes. Well, yeah. Excuse me. It was the same thing. 
It was the same thing for Social Security. Yeah. It was the same thing for Medicare. Well, they talk socialism, but you know, Medicare is socialism and Social Security is socialism and the right. fire department and the police what department your and, parents and people parents? who paved the roads are all socialism. They don't have a problem with that. Wait. I don't get it. But let's change the subject. <laughs> Glenn Beck had his usual measured reaction after the White House called out Fox News. Watch. So we've got, we got the missiles pointed right at Fox, and let's make sure that everybody understands this is the enemy, America. Everything that's going wrong in the country happening right here. You know, I mean, what is up with Glenn Beck? Stunning. Oh, I really, can you explain him? You're, sort, you're not in his camp, Leslie, I realize <laughs> that. But what exactly is he up to? You know, I think he's he raises a lot of important issues. He talks about. Are you the, serious? Yes, he, no, he does. If you look, even if you listen to his radio show years ago, he went and investigated what the government was doing. He calls himself Bush. an entertainer, doesn't he? But, I don't know. I think he calls I, I, himself a rodeo clown. No, yeah, I, he's called himself an entertainer. Rodeo, I don't, well, I don't talking, really. Rodeo clowns are funny. I have to take that away from him. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're very amusing. Do you it's think like, he's a person like like? I think like he's a likable person. Is, I think he's a good person. It, it I, is good for this country. The fear, the loathing, the racism, the absolute inane accusations making Yom Kippur a, a Republican holiday. Uh, well, no, calling well, no, Barack no, Obama I mean, a racist was really over yeah, the edge. Okay, there's been that a was lot ridiculous. Of things, yeah, there's a lot of things we're going to agree. But how do you forgive we'll all agree that? On, we'll agree. How, but how do you agree? How do you how do you justify <laughs> paying him big salaries? And I, I don't get it. I really don't. Oh, well, I well, she doesn't called, pay. I don't pay. It. I wrote him a check last week. But no, I'm no, just kidding. No, I did not. I did not. I'm kidding. Sorry, Glenn. But um, no, don't look for it. But the, but what I'm saying is that he he does speak to a large percent of the electorate that is concerned about the, the direction of the country that's concerned really? about yeah. are you yeah, sure they're just not crazy like he is <laughs> no. listen ladies stick He's with me well, they're they're just, i'm going to keep, keep you here we'll be right back while they just talk amongst yeah, themselves we'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> no no they're, they're,